spooky season slowly creeping its way to us. And with that, events are getting into the spirit. Some of the bigger attractions are the Hollywood Horror Nights at Universal Studios, a massive haunted event that draws in millions of people every year. And like a moth to flame, ABC 10's Marcus Allen has found his way down there. It has a multicultural <laughs> twist, right? You guys, I just missed the tram. Come back. Uh, I miss the Universal Studios tram. Yeah, welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood, where things are getting scary, and as you mentioned, multicultural. Take a look. Tis the season, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. It's like the Burning Man of Haunts. A million people will see it in person, 250,000 of them from Northern California. From Stranger Things to Chucky to the new Exorcist movie, its haunts bring to live TV and film scariest moments. It's one of the first haunts to specifically celebrate Dia de los Muertos and also offer a Latin-themed haunt. I caught up with America's scare king, John Murdy, to talk about it. We always say bigger and better. What kind of daunting pressure is it to make it bigger and better? Um, that's really fueled by all our fans, and you can see them all out here tonight. And they're not shy about telling us what they want to see. So we try to listen to that, and we try to bring to life some of the properties that they want. And one of them that they've wanted for a long time is The Last of Us. And we've never done a video game on house, and this is the first time that we're doing that for Horror Nights 2023. And I, I love that even in the world of haunts, we find diversity and inclusion, and there's yeah. a big Latino spin this year that I think is wonderful. Yeah, and that again comes from our fans. Years and years ago, over a decade ago, our fans would come up to me and say, have you ever heard the story of La Llorona? Or have you ever heard the story of El Cacue or El Coco? And so um, after being told that a number of times, we started featuring Latin American myths and legends at our event. It's now become a signature part of it. This year we have Monstros, which is uh, Spanish for monsters. And it's the monsters of Latin America. So there's characters that are from Mexico. There's characters that are from Colombia, Venezuela. So we're really diving into the whole breadth of this very rich genre of horror. I love that guy. I had a camera strapped to a guy in his face. I wanted to use more of that guy, but he started cursing every like 20 seconds when something jumped out of him. Cursing, or as my mom would say, using sentence enhancers. All right, so now you got a day past Dia de los Muertos that you can enjoy Hollywood and Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. Latino Strong, back to you. So do you have any tips for people who seeing your report? They're like, hey, let's go down there. What should they do? Yeah, okay, full disclosure, it ain't cheap. Theme parks just really aren't. So you wanna get the biggest bang for your buck, go on an off day. I charted it for the last couple of years. Wednesday is going to be your best bet and expect a line because after all, it is popular. Like 30 helicopters are out here covering this grand opening. Back to you. Now you need to check in with uh, your officials that you need to check in with there. I think they're looking for you. So, uh, right? <laughs> All right, Marcus Allen.